Hi, this is Gray. I got a poem here for Elizabeth in Pomona, California. Elizabeth, uh, you said you liked the sky, so I worked with that. You said you didn't just like the sky, you loved the sky, and I don't blame you. The sky is a wonderful place where things happen. <clears throat> here we go. Due to my inability to land gainful employment and the high cost of rent, I have been considering a relocation to the sky. From my understanding, the sky is the new Williamsburg, but the rent is considerably cheaper. I could probably make a home out of a cloud, carve a cave in it, use lightning bolts to adequately light the place, and provide a majority of all of my electricity needs, which is mostly just a bread maker. I can spend my time manufacturing raindrops out of various bodily fluids, mostly tears. That'll be easy. I will just think of every woman who has ever left me back when my heart was still breakable. In the winter, I'd carve snow crystals, precise, intricate, each by hand, and deliver them whether or not anyone asked for them. Though this prospect might seem extraordinarily lonesome. I would invite the birds over for dinner parties, and we, we would converse in our various bird dialects about various bird topics, how ducks have become entirely too tyrannical, how dancing cranes need to change with the times, and don't get me started on albatrosses, thinking they're so holy. Of course, birds aren't the best dinner companions, given their notoriety for being flighty. Sorry, that was an easy one. <laughs> that was an easy one. But I'd make do, share an occasional cup of tea with a soul on his or her way to heaven, or with a soul in transit to hell. In the evenings, when I'm feeling clumsy, I'd spill my cheap rosé across the clouds for the intrigue of sky gazers, and if I'm feeling particularly spirited and I've stayed up all night, I'd spill some more in the morning to the horror of sailors. Yes. I do believe that I could carve out a comfortable life in the sky. I hope you can visit me here sometime, or at least wave hello from your airplane window. All right, Elizabeth, there's that for you. And I will let you know that you are the last person that I've had to write a poem for. So hopefully I'll get back out there on the road and be able to do this again. Thanks for the opportunity, and I hope you have a wonderful evening. Take care. i got to stop recording that.